All right, now we are going to put the NEMA sensor to the test. So first up, we have Lay's Classic Potato Chips. So you just untwist the top, take some chips out of here, twist it until it clicks, and now it's time to put it inside of the case. Click it into place, and then there's a little button on the front side that you can click at this point. The Lay's potato chips that were labeled gluten-free actually came back with a low gluten rating. The second item we are going to test today um, is a package of Oreos, which we do know has wheat in it. So we are going to do the same thing that we did before. We have another capsule here. Well, as we expected, the Oreos came back with a result of high gluten found. So we were a little nervous after our first Lay's potato chip test came back with gluten in it. So we figured we'll play it safe and do the test again. So we just just ran the test through with another sample from the same bag and it actually came back as having no gluten. Well there you have it. That is the NEMA sensor and I hope we helped you decide today if it is something that's right for you. So if you do want to check it out a little bit more, you can go online. Um, again, it is $2.79 for the sensor. And if videos like this are something that you're interested in, be sure to log on to the cleveland.com YouTube page and hit subscribe so you make sure that you don't miss out on any good gluten-free news or news in general.